Hi guys, so I just finished up these boutonnieres and I did not record it and I thought, you know what, maybe someone wants to know how to make a boutonniere. So let me just record one and show you how to do it, okay, in case you'd like to know. Now this one is for the groom. As you can see, I added two flowers to that one, but I'm going to show you the ones for the groomsmen. Alright, so let's get started. So here's my flowers. I bought a dozen roses on Amazon and I'm going to be using this small leaf along with the center of the flowers. Um, and I chose these flowers because they look somewhat natural. The only issue that I had was um, there's a coating of something on top of these flowers. It looks like wax or something like that. It gives them a nice little texture but the thing is it's very hard to glue them onto itself. Um, let me pull it apart and show you. As you can see, it's easy to rip apart, right? So this is the part I'm going to be taking out, just this part, not the parts that have the curve, okay? So I'm just going to pull everything off of the stem. All right, I'm going to be using this part. I'm not using these parts see how easy that came out so it's not very good with glue but they do look nice and I'm gonna show you how to work it I'm just going to use this leaf I bought a little cheap pack of um, accessories stuff that you may need for boutonnieres I'm just going to use my pliers and take off this leaf. The smallest one is good. This one. We're not going to throw these away. We're going to use them to make our pewens or any other decoration that you may need. I got these from my house and this is about a third of the size of the bunch. Okay, because I've been using it. So this is about a third. I'm taking four pieces off just like that. And I also got this from Michael some time back. I think they still sell them like $3 for this bunch. I'm just using one. Okay. Came with six in it. So basically this is 50 cents. And I'm going to be using this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's a sheer ribbon. I'm also going to use a piece of the stem from my flowers gonna go ahead and cut off these extra pieces I don't need those this is gonna be our new stem I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to put the stem in just put a little bit on the edge like so and push it right into the flowers okay now I'm gonna put just a little around the base and push my stem through this part and glue it on. So I want these um, green parts to be sitting against the leaves. So I'm going to be using this uh, mixed media adhesive by Aileen's and I'm just putting a little bit and I'm nearing the end of my adhesive so it's getting thick on me but it's working i'm just putting a little on the leaf just like so because the hot glue won't work for this area and i'm just pressing it together i'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds until it gets tacky and here it is it's not all the way attached but it's good enough now i'm gonna move on to my next step and i'm gonna attach my little flowers on the sides i'm gonna take these little leaves off just use my pliers to clip them off just like this just the last two pieces and this is what I want so I'm gonna do that for all four I'm gonna cut this little part off at the tip because it's too thick I don't want this to take too long so I'm using my hot glue to attach them or if you want you could wrap them one at a time with your um, floral tape now the next one
it's just a temporary hold until I wrap my floral tape okay so this will be the back so we're gonna focus these flowers mainly on the front and the side okay so now it's together I'm also gonna go ahead and add my organza flowers a little bit lower than those I'm just gonna wrap the string right around it's wired so it's holding now I'm gonna go ahead and use my floral tape and I'm just gonna wrap from the top just like this and wrap it as close as I can I think I'm gonna cut a piece off here so it's easier to wrap just wrap it very tight So now that I have it wrapped right there tight, I'm just going to continue and work my way down and making sure that I'm wrapping it onto itself a few times. And I'm pulling it very tight. Just because I have the extra, I'm just going to continue to go back up until it's all done. Okay, now that's nice and secure. It's tight. Now I'm going to add my flowers. And this is going to go on the left side, so I want my flowers to be sticking to this side same left side like this I'm gonna lift one of these leaves up and tape it behind there so this and the leaf is gonna be bonding together here here a more professional way to do this is to glue a piece of your floral wire to the back and wrap it into your tape and just like that so we have a nice angle of that leaf Okay, now one last step, and that's to wrap my ribbon right around my floral tape. I'm going to cut a little piece of my ribbon, about this much, maybe 12 inches. And I'm going to start from the back on the end. Just put the glue in place, and you just need a little bit. Wait a couple seconds until it start getting tacky then put the ribbon directly on the end okay I'm gonna give it a few so it can get tacky and hold in place we can start wrapping so I just want to wrap it tightly around the edge so we have a nice little beginning right there and I'm trying to cover up the green so I'm wrapping it a couple times and now I can start to go upwards and um well, this was exact. Okay, I'm gonna glue it in the back. Just a small string of glue. So it's not showing. Like that. And that. This is in the back. You wanna do this in the back, okay? Alright. So now we're done. Finally. Okay. Let me just trim these up and we're good and i made 10 of them and and for the groom i just added a second of the flowers the smaller ones so i picked it out from um the center just put it right there 
and I did the same thing. So this is it. Let me know if you like this tutorial. I really appreciate your comments and your thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.